Uh, Geeks and Gamers kind of popped up on my radar just through um, just through YouTube, you know, just just kind of pop it in and and it just kind of showed up on my re recommendations. Um, kind of was exposed to um, I don't know, been watching Geeks and Gamers for for a good year year and a half now. Um, you know, when I see videos pop up, and um, it's funny because like I I didn't know anything about Jeremy or Geeks and Gamers before really reaching out. I, I reached out to Jeremy. Um, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. And I was just like, Hey, I just want to say like, congratulations on what you've grown. It's really impressive that you've been able to grow this. And, um, I think it says a lot about you and, uh, you know, the community that you built. Cause I think the geeks and gamers community is, is really strong. Um, and then Jeremy's like, Oh, thanks man. Appreciate it. Um, and th then he like went into like all the controversy, like associated with the brand. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, and and I you know when I use the term uh, he used the term controversy and I'm like okay cool but I don't know it just seems like little hiccups over over you know over the course of the brand I wouldn't say that there's been a whole lot of controversy attached to it I mean I think it's you know I think what what is uh, you know any sort of quote unquote controversy attached to geeks and gamers is a is a byproduct of kind of what we talked about earlier about mm -hmm. uh, you know just culture totally shifting um, you know I I think five, six, seven years ago, geeks and gamers exist and there's zero controversy attached to it. Um, it's just a bunch of bunch of people hanging out and, and playing games and talking about them and stuff. Um, sure, there's some like hard edges, you know, when mm -hmm. it comes to geeks and gamers. Uh, but I also think that's what makes geeks and gamers what it is, is, um, you know, it, it says it says things that uh, a lot of people are thinking. Um, but, you know, I, when when I went and hung out with uh, with y'all in Florida, like I was like legitimately impressed by just the group group of people um you know such a such a wide ranging group of people um that just genuinely seemed to like each other and mm -hmm. that is really hard to find um and you know hearing that some of you guys were meeting for the first time there was like oh that's crazy and everyone just kind of it was like a it was like a jigsaw puzzle where all the pieces just kind of fit and well we're going to keep on playing we're going to keep on you know it was it was really cool to see and um so yeah you know it's been it's been really uh cool chit chatting with uh Jeremy and geeks and gamers and getting to know you obviously and and everyone else so <laughs> the buckies <laughs> right 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 yeah, well listen we're going to we need to get you out to buckies for real i actually have a question about buckies oh please for you. yes why can you explain why buckies is so cool <laughs> and the yes, parking lots and the parking exits so that's all i remember okay so, so Bucky's, I think for most Texans, Texans as a whole really love being Texan, right? Mm. We, we love the idea. This is where we were born or this is where we live. And we take pride in those things. So anything that starts in Texas and that really embraces being Texan, mm -hmm. we embrace thoroughly. And Bucky's is this like really neat story of of a, a couple, you know, it was a gas station, a small gas station in like 1983, all the way up until like a couple years ago, right? When, when, um, you know, a couple guys were like, well, let's just see what happens if we do this mega, mega version of Bucky's. And um, when you first go to Bucky's, when you hear about these things, you're like, oh, okay, whatever. And I, by the way, th this is exactly what they want. They wanted the, the buzz of Bucky's, mm -hmm. right? And because that's it's like this amazing thing. When you walk into Bucky's, there's I would say one third of it of this, I don't know, 15,000, maybe 20,000 foot building is not a gas station. This is a giant building. Maybe a third of it is just like apparel for Bucky's. It's apparel and um, kids' toys and random things you'd put on your back porch and like it's it's all these like little tchotchkes and bullshit that you know that you don't need but it has a beaver on it and you're like yeah right and you then you continue on and then you're you're greeted by by food and food and food and food they have they have fresh beef jerky they have uh barbecue sandwiches made right there in front of you they have breakfast burritos they have a fudge area they got dip and dots they have an entire candy wall that is devoted, uh, that has all the candy you want, plus Bucky's candy. Then they have a, an entire drink station. You know, it has everything you'd want in a gas station multiplied by like 
you know, a dozen, right? Um, it's it's like if you were to take the best gas station in the world and like shoot steroids in its ass, and it would just like pumped iron religiously for six weeks and just got super ripped and buff. And you're like really impressed. That's that's what Bucky's is. Just to, with a cute little Bucky's, you know, Bucky mascot. Um, and everybody there is like super nice. You walk in, they're like, hey, welcome to Bucky's. Hey, you know. Uh, and they make a big deal out of it. So it's super fun. Um, it's legitimately a destination. I have, I live, I, you know, the best thing about where I live is I live between two Bucky's. Oh my God. Best and thing they're, in the world. they're equally far apart for me. So I, I get to pick and choose. So on Mondays, he goes to the right. And on Tuesdays, he goes to the left. That's right. That's right. And they have but, multiple exits because that's, that's that's really all. I remember I had that conversation, if you remember, in the truck. Uh, well, yes. Uh, I, I remember the conversation. Do you remember the conversation? Because, <laughs> look, for the, look, nobody knows this except for you and I, right? And Jeremy and, I, and right. Uh, Tommy. Right, right. Okay, so so we're in the car. And, you know, Tommy and uh, Tommy and I are talking about Bucky's, And I'm trying to explain to you this whole thing. And I, I went on like a, like a five and a half minute, like oh, diatribe so on Bucky's. And I'm like, so what do you think of that? And you're like, what, what? I, I don't even, you know, you're like, I was like showing Tommy my email. Right. It's like, you just totally forgot that you were even in a conversation with me. And it was like, how <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I was like, he's still going about Bucky's. I thought that ended two minutes ago. Nope. <laughs> they were talking about something else up in the front. No. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> That's my bad. Still going. <laughs>